course, Joe is laughing again, but this is no laughing matter. Why? Because that car, <laughs> we needed to go back to Bill. And it's been quite an adventure, and uh, it's been a test for both of... Uh, People are telling me I should marry it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the best-looking girl you ever had. But uh, uh, here, here's a, a very raw introduction. That's cold, man. That's here's, a, cold. here's a very raw introduction to a 68 GT350 Red Eraser. Smile, Joe. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> You're lucky I can still smile. That thing's no oh, pissing me off. How about me? I know. All right. Here's, <laughs> let's go to the next intro. Okay. Guys, people, Bill, I've been tearing my hair out trying to figure out why I can't what get... What hair? Yeah. What, yeah, what's left. Trying to figure out why I can't get this thing to crank or get any electricity to the coil out there. Well, this is the harness right here. And there's a red wire with a blue tracer that actually hits the crank. Now I, I hit, I turned the key, I couldn't get anything. Now I hooked my power probe up. Ah. Too much coffee today. And I put 12 volts to it and you can hear it cranking, right? Okay, this harness here is, is not part of the main wiring harness. This is like a factory splicing for air conditioning. Well. It, plice, it splices into this, I, I, I assume at this point, to, to get power for the AC. Uh, I plug this in, and I go over to the red wire with the blue tracer, and put 12 volts to it, and nothing. It will not do it. So there's an issue somewhere in this little splice harness that's causing me problems. And that's where I'm at right now. Okay. Wiggle, clean, twist, bend. Uh, this connector in here, there was where the patch was, there was a couple like crimp connectors that I, I repaired and put the tape back on. And now I have power under the hood. Awesome. Yay.